Okay, folks, this will be an interesting one. I don't know how this one's going to turn out. So I'm going to make this into something interesting. Sorry about the fucking shaking. I'm trying to steady myself, but I can't. Not with one hand. No, we don't want a background colour. Idiot. We're going to run out of color, a color toner at some stage, and I think the color is yellow. I don't know when it's going to run out. I can never tell. But they they do run out at least convenient time, often. Anyway, what have we got? We got here desk calendar refill with daily quotations. So this is like for office, yeah, office. Uh, calendar like you have on your desk well yeah it's a desk calendar haha <laughs> fuck I'm stating the ob obvious but yeah these are like really business people's staple makes me think of my future folks because one day I'm going to become a CEO of a photocopier company a company that builds the best photocopiers man has ever seen. Uh, they're going to have artificial intelligence driving them and they're going to be made mostly out of recycled materials whenever possible. And, oh, this is, yeah. They're going to be made out of recycled materials whenever possible. And basically, how should I put it? Most of the money that I earn as a CEO will go towards uh, science and humanitarian causes because I want to be a scientist as well as a CEO and I want to fund science experiments for problems like climate change and uh, how to clean up nuclear waste like at Chernobyl and, uh, and Fukushima very serious problems, problems they've had so basically yeah and i want to make this company a real um real ethical company in other words i want to have pe the people that work there especially the factory workers i want them to get paid a little bit more than they're actually worth and i don't i mean they're going to be worth they're not going to be treated like Slaves, they're not going to be underpaid and overworked. They're going to work a nine to five, uh, they're going to work nine to five just like the office workers, and then everyone gets paid a fair and over a, a slightly over and above fair wage. So, we're going to make sure that this is a real uh, ethical company from inside out. No made in China, no made in Vietnam. The factory will be right here on our fucking Australian soil. And I've done this wrong. So it's going to be on Australian soil that these equipments are constructed. And we're going to make, and it's going to be as, as good as it gets. I'm not interested in, in um, profiteering. Uh, I'll probably end up giving away at least 95% of what I'm earning. I'm not interested in just throwing a few dollars here and there. I'm serious about giving. And I want to make this company a generous one so that people less fortunate than myself will get a fair go. And that's how I want it to be. I'm not interested in this stupid system we have now called what I simply refer to as the have and have not system. I don't like this have and have not system that we have. Uh, I'm not interested in in fucking people over. So, yeah, 
Now let's see what we can do with this. I'm gonna keep it at 400. Fuck it. I'm gonna just try and make this a bit better. So I move this as close in as possible. So yeah, it's we're gonna find solutions to yeah, did I mention climate change? Extremely important. So and yeah, and in using recycled materials as much as I can, I want to uh, clean up the e-waste dumps of the world. So we use, we're basically going to be mining dumps, like e-waste dumps like in India and China, and we import the shit, and the shit gets used to build our equipment. So I really want to make a difference, folks. Let's see what we can do with this. No, I don't want that. Okay, I think we've done this as best as we can. But yeah, I'm, I'm not ready to be a CEO yet. Because one, the, the thing I have uh, at the moment is that I'm disabled. The technology that they'll have in the future will help enable me to make my dream of becoming a CEO will make it real. So they'll have bionic uh, brain implants to help facilitate my transformation from a disabled person into a, uh, into a CEO. And it'll be really, I'll never take that for granted because there's no fun being disabled, having brain damage at birth, after having a cord wrap around your, wrap around your neck and coming out breach and not having any doctors or nurses there to help deliver me in my time of need. So, yeah, I've had brain damage primarily done to the hippocampus and the short-term memory, I suspect. And it's caused me a great deal of grief throughout my life, from, from, from preschool all the way up to my last job that I did, the last time I made an attempt at studying and trying to compete with my able-bodied counterparts who really a lot of the time they bullied me it wasn't I wasn't just bullied at school I was bullied in the workplace and in the and in the TAFE the, the, the college so it wasn't easy dealing with this undiagnosed brain damage or acquired brain injury that I had since I was born so yeah but I look forward to having these implants and it would be good if I could I could fund and that's one of the other things I want to do is I want to take take my um, the fact that I've been fortunate enough to be implanted and I want to donate money to other people with brain injuries or strokes or anyone who needs uh, the implant so they, they can function normally. I'd like to fund, uh, that's, a, that's a humanitarian uh, kind of thing that I want to help out with. Because when, you, when, you, when, you, uh, when you're a person in the position of being, uh, how should I put it, having, uh, having something good happen to you, you want to bestow that on other people as well, instead of just keeping it all to yourself. So, the, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'd be so grateful if I no longer had to deal with this acquired brain injury. Because without the technology, I could never become a CEO. I'd still need help with my disability. Uh, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to a bright future, folks. Let's see how we go with this. So this is an interesting picture 
on the front. I'm actually wondering if I should have done it darker. I think that green looks a bit, I don't know. Uh, calendar. So this is like the kind that you have on your desk. And yes, I'm all for paper. Paper products, so yeah. Okay, yeah, that looks interesting. I think now we can call this demo quits.